It's been a monumental effort. All right, fire department, let's make it rain. But the team finally has all the many parts of this mythical freight train mishap in place. Cue the physics. Five inches of mercury. Six. Nice. It's climbing steadily. That's what we wanted to see. The rain cools the steel. The steam inside begins to condense, and the negative pressure rises. That is climbing a lot faster than our small scale. The small scale car crushed at 11 inches, the single oil drum at 17, but a full scale tank car implosion has never been recorded. The Mythbusters are once again in unknown scientific territory. 12 and a half. Oh, 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 oh I'm psyched. The pressure differential. 13. <laughs> means there is already more than 1.5 million pounds of pressure pushing on the exterior surface. Man, that makes me nervous. That thing's so friggin' big. I know. And it keeps on rising. 17 and a half. <laughs> We've now exceeded our small scale pressures. It's ramping up just like the suspense. Come on, baby. 19 and a half. And the tension. 21. Wow. Man. It's nerve wracking. It is. And I know that the, like the moment I blink, it's going to happen. 23. Damn. <laughs> 25 and a half. <laughs> Holy shit. 15 minutes after sealing in the steam, the negative internal pressure is almost as low as it can possibly go. 26 and a quarter degrees is almost a full vacuum. If that occurs at just under 30 inches of mercury. And still, there's no sign of an implosion. Boy, they make these things tough, don't they? As the minutes tick by. This is killing me. We're at 18 and a half minutes. The negative pressure plateaus. 26 and 5 eighths. <laughs> and for the first time, the guys think the tank car might not collapse. Remember, folks, science can be boring. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everything is working here exactly as we planned. Our methodology is dead on the money. Hazel, hazel, hazel. It's not working. Hazel, hazel, hazel. We got a superheated tanker that was steam cleaned that we've now been raining on, and the pressure is built far beyond what I would have considered to be a fatal catastrophic pressure to this tanker car, and yet it's holding on at 27 inches of mercury. This is astonishing. This is a very durable, durable item. It hasn't budged. OK, folks, we're going to wait for it to be an even hour. And if we haven't seen any movement on the needle by then, we'll call it. The pressure leveled off at 27 and hasn't budged. And neither has the tank car. So when they hit the hour, here we go. They reluctantly concede defeat. Pull the plug and let the air back in. <laughs> hey, nice work on the rig. Everything we did worked beautifully, but you wouldn't break. It's not our fault. Technically, what we did to this car to try and make it collapse with a vacuum was flawless. <laughs> oh, it's like the train car is peeing on me out of spite got the tank really hot. We'd sealed it up really well. We pulled darn near a perfect vacuum on it, and yet nothing we did to it made it collapse. So it turns out these cars are actually built pretty darn good. But you know what?